Okay, let's look at adding three columns of numbers. We start with the units column first. Let's look at our first sum. The unit 2 plus 1 is 3. Then we always add our tenths column next. So the tens column has got an 8 and a 1. So 8 plus 1 is 9. And then the very last column we're going to add is the hundreds column. 7 plus 2 is 9. Okay, let's look at the next sum. Which column do we always start with? We start with our units. 1 plus 3 is 4. And then the next column after that is always the tens. 8 plus 1 is 9. And in this case, the last column we have to add up is the hundreds. 6 plus 3 is 9. Easy, hey? Okay, so let's look at the next page. Now that you know how to do it, I would like you to press pause to write down these sums on some paper and to add them, always starting with units, then tens, then hundreds. And when you've done that, I want you to press play and to come back and to check your answers against the workings which I will be doing next. Okay, so I assume you've done your work. Now let's have a look at your answers. We always start with units. So in our first sum, 1 plus 7 is 8. Then we move on to the tens. 4 plus 2 is 6. Then we move on to the hundreds. 2 plus 5 is 7. So our number is 768. How clever are you? Okay, next one. Starting with units. 2 plus 1, 3. Then on to the tens, 8 plus 1, 9. Then on to the hundreds, 6 plus 2, 8. So we have 893. So far, hopefully you're getting them right. Right, let's look at the next one. We start with our units column. 3 plus 5, 8. Then on to our tens, 6 plus 3, 9. Then on to our hundreds, 2 plus 7 or 7 plus 2, also 9, 998. Okay, last sum on this screen, we're going to go on to our units first, 5 plus 0 is 5. Then on to our tens, 7 plus 2 is 9, and then on to our hundreds, 3 plus 4 is 7. 795. Did you get all of them right? I hope so. Well done. Okay, so now, as you can see in the top example here, we only ever had a single digit in the front here. So now I'm going to teach you what to do if this hundreds column is more than one digit. We're going to look at it now in this example down here, these two. So let's see, what do we always start with first? We start with units. So 3 plus 5 is 8. Then we move on to our tens column. 1 plus 6 is 7. Then we move on to our hundreds column. 8 plus 3. Now 8 plus 3 is two digits, not one digit. And what are we going to do with those two, digit, two digits? We're going to write them both down. 8 plus 3 comes to 11, so we write the full 11 down because we are right at the beginning of the number. So your answer is 1,178. Easy. Let's look at the next example. Always units first. 0 plus 9, 9. Then 10s. 0 plus 8, 8. Then 100s. 5 plus 6, 11. We write the full 11 down. And it's also 1,189. Okay, so you get the picture. Right, let's look at some, some works that you, workings that you can do yourselves to practice. Maths comes by practice. So I want you to press pause. And then I want you to write these down on paper and to solve them. And when you're finished, you can come and press play. And then I will go through the answers with you and hopefully you get them all right. Okay, so I assume you now have finished your work. And you've pressed play and you're here to check your answers. Let's look at the first one. 
5 plus 4 is 9. Next one, 8 plus 1 is also 9. Next one, 9 plus 1. We write the whole 10 down in front because we write at the front. 1,099. Okay, next sum. Starting with units. 4 plus 1, 5. Next we do our 10s. 2 plus 5, 7. Next we do 100s. 6 plus 4, 10. Once again, we write the whole number down in the front. 1,075. Okay, let's look at our units first. 0 plus 9, 9. Let's look at our tens. 4 plus 3, 7. And the last one we're going to do is our hundreds. 6 plus 6 we know comes to 12, so we write the full 12. 1,279. Last sum on the screen. 2 plus 7, 9. Tens column next. 5 plus 3, Eight. Hundreds column. Four plus nine is thirteen. So we write the full thirteen here. One thousand three hundred and eighty-nine is your answer. I hope that you have a good understanding of adding three columns of numbers. And we will move on to carrying in future lectures. This is just the basic addition series you're busy with now. Well done.